G'day guys, I'm going to show you how I made this awesome looking folding step stool. I begin by ripping down hardwood offcuts. These will form the outside frame. I sit the remaining pieces of hardwood on edge and begin to rip them down the middle. And as you can see, I need to make two passes. Panels all cut, now ready to be glued together. The panels have bonded really well overnight, but more importantly, there's no cupping. I'll now run all the panels through the thicknesser for a straight clean finish. I measure, then mark all four legs on the side frame. The pitch is at 85 degrees using my sliding bevel gauge and 588 mil from long point to short point. With all four legs cut, I will now place a pair on my profile. Using the same bevel gauge, I measured and marked both a upper and lower brace, which will form a mortise and tenon joint. I'll now scribe a mark 10 millimeters in on all the edges using a mortise gauge. With my favourite Japanese handsaw, I begin to cut both ends off the brace piece. This helps improve my hand-eye coordination, but more importantly, it has a calming effect. I'm sure a lot of you can relate.
For a neat and clean finish, I will cut the shoulder on the table saw using my spline box and held together with two clamps. This will complete the tenon. Yep, there's four of the best right there, folks. Righto, time to start the mortise joint. Once again, using the mortise gauge, describe the center line. I'm using a 10 millimeter Forstner drill bit to remove waste along the center line and the depth will be 25 millimeters. If you'll notice, I'm drilling my holes at a slight angle. I finish off with a chisel and try and make all the mortise joints as neat as possible. Alrighty, let's now see if it fits together. Yep, I'm happy with that. With my modified jig, I will now begin to glue the mortise and tenon joints. I add masking tape in between the two frames just in case they stick together from any excess glue. Okay, I will now cut to length the top, the middle and lower step. This panel is where the lower and middle step will be fixed. I'll use the sled on the table saw to cut the two ends square.
With the trimmer, I'll add a couple of grooves on the middle and lower step. My oh my, what a difference it makes when you round off all the edges. Here I countersink and pre-drill two holes on the underside of the two legs. I'll now cut three pieces of dowel to length at 19 millimeters in diameter. With the Forstner drill bit, I will now drill a 10mm cavity into each leg. <laughs> okay guys, take note. These are the magic numbers I use for the two folding step pieces. As I near the completion of this project, feel free to hit the like button. And if you like this video, please leave a comment. Cheers. I now pre-drill the holes on the two steps using a countersink drill bit. With the two steps tightly screwed in position, they will now give the folding stool added strength. Here I'm adding 10mm countersink holes on the two frames, where later I will screw three internal brace members. Alrighty, let's begin the assembly.
Oh yeah, remember those three internal brace members? Well here's the first one. Oh, you little beauty! To cover the screw holes, I simply glue, then add cover buttons. Oh, we can't forget the bottom now, can we? And finally, my favourite oil. Have a look at the texture on that. Whoops, always remember to use gloves.